Welcome to another Monday.com tutorial. Uh, today I will be showing you how you can create automatic, automatic task templates within your lead board so that when a new lead converts, it'll automatically fire off a sequence of tasks to the rest of your team. It'll kind of dish them out and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So right here, I've got my lead list. This is my board where I keep all of my new leads. And I've got uh, one in here called John Doe and he's a warm lead right now. So this is a warm lead. I'm getting close to finishing, uh, closing the deal and I want to get him into the system as quickly as possible. So I set up some automations here and selected a local SEO task list. So he wants some local SEO for his company. So I selected that from the task list. And as soon as I change this status from warm to closed, it'll fire off a sequence and it'll dish out the tasks that needs to be done to bring him on board to get the local SEO. So how I did this is, well, I can actually show you what this looks like, is if I click uh, status is closed. First, it'll move the lead from warm to closed. And that just shows it's been closed. And then on my other board, my to-do list board, it will create these two tasks. And it'll automatically assign them to my team members and it will have them get notified that there is some tasks to do and it'll say, what type of the tasks are. So it's requests access to Google My Business from John Doe, has the contact name in there, and then create a new local management account listing for John Doe. And it will have them ready to go to finish those tasks. So how I did this is if I go back over to my lead list, close that out. Under the automate section, I have this automation right here. So when the status changes to closed, so the status of the lead changes to closed, and only if the status task template is local SEO, so there's a bunch of different options here, local SEO, website development, Google AdWords, and social media campaigns, only if it's local SEO, then I wanted to create an item in the to-do list board and create an item in the to-do list board. And these two items are the tasks that I want them to do to finish up because each time a new client comes on board for local SEO, the process does not change. There's always going to be a specific, uh, there's going to be specific tasks that need to be done every single time. So these ones that are going to be the same each time I can create this automation where it'll fire off those tasks and assign them to my teammates. So in here, in this specific item, I have my task, which is request Google, uh, Google Analytics access. And then I have an additional field at the very end here called name. So the name here takes the name of the item. In this case, it's John Doe and it plays at the very end. So I have request access for Google Analytics from John Doe and they'll automatically uh, add the contact card in there as well so that they know who, which John Doe or which contact are you talking about? So it'll, it'll go show you which person that you want to get access from. Um, notes, this could be a, anything like a to-do list. Like this is how, these are processes, this is how you do it. So here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. Um, it could be specific, uh, information, specific email addresses that you want. Um, it could be any, anything that you want, any kind of additional notes that you want them to know about doing this task. And then this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So right now there is currently a problem with Monday where if you assign somebody within this person section right here. So right now I have it set up uh, as Nicholas. It won't actually assign the person. So if I if I have it in, in my automation right here, it's assigned to Nicholas and I fire the sequence off, it won't assign him. And this is a bug and I've been going back and forth with Monday, uh, but right now it just will not assign them. So I had to do a little bit of a workaround to where I had to create a new status on the to-do list board um, that has each and each of the names of the teammates um, within this company. So in that case, I had to create a, a status for each one of the names. This one is Nicholas. So I have a status called Nicholas within that board, and I just had to manually type this in, Nicholas. And so when I click done here, click the automation. And if I go back over to the to-do list, I look under this automation over here, you'll see that when status changes, when the status of assign to, that's the name I have it, changes to Nicholas, then it'll assign Nicholas as the person. 
So if I go over here, you'll see that you know there's no status on this board for assigned to. So that's I do that intentionally. I hit it because it's not important for the rest of everybody else in the team. It's only for the automation side of things. So if I go over to the main table, you'll see that it pops up. And so it'll it'll show you who it's assigned to. So if I assign if I change this over to let's say Abe, it'll remove it'll remove Nicholas and it'll assign Abe. So this automatically allows me to kind of do a workaround to where if I have if I have it on my uh, lead list, if I select the status Abe or if I select the status Nicholas, it'll automatically select the status over here. It'll change the status over here to Nicholas. And then my automations within the to-do list board will then kick in saying that status has been changed to Nicholas. So I want to assign Nicholas to this item. It's a little bit frustrating with how I have to do this little workaround, um, but it's actually really handy to have this status column in here regardless because it allows you to do a lot more automations and it, allows, it just makes everything a lot uh, more streamlined in case you need to switch things over and you don't always have to select, you don't always have to remember the name and select the name from this section. You can always just do it from this status um, and it just makes it a lot smoother. So let me go back over to the lead list. So this can be done for many different people. Um, you can have multiple tasks, you can have multiple um, statuses with different task templates if you want, or just one like I have here because simply one client is only gonna have one type of service that they want. Um, you can always cheat the system and change this pack over to a warm lead. Like let's say he wanted a local SEO and a new website. You have already have the tasks all created for the local SEO. Now you wanna do website development. So I click the website development and then I click closed again. And then as soon as that moves over there, then it can fire off the task template sequence for website development, which will be a little bit different. Um, I just thought this was really cool. And this automates a lot of things so that when a new lead comes in, you're not having to go communicate to three different people saying, hey, can you go set up the account over here? Hey, can you go and send them the package that they need to get? Hey, can you go and make an invoice and send them the invoice? No, this will automatically create all the tasks and it'll dish them out to the appropriate people and it'll notify them that they have been assigned to a specific task and you can keep track of you know where they're at in each of those tasks on your to-do list board right here and i also highly recommend to this to most of my clients is that you do have a to-do list board that kind of encompasses the whole company that everybody can kind of look at and see you know what do i need to do for the company these can be one-off tasks like if you're in an office building, take out the trash. You can add that as a task and you can assign it to a specific person. This allows you to keep everything in one location. And so you're not having to go remember, oh, did I text that person? Did I send it through Slack? Did I email him? No, it's always going to be, if you ever have a task, it's always going to be in one central location. So I find this really easy, especially when you're having you know task templates like what I just showed. Um, you can have it all centralized in one board instead of having multiple different uh, to-do lists in other boards or to-do lists in Slack, email, phone, etc. Keep things central. So that's just what I wanted to show you. And this can be useful in many different companies. Um, it, it, it'll automatically, it'll, it'll streamline a lot of your work so you don't have to create the same thing over and over again. Um, and I think it's very useful.